So I was filming content for a Call of Duty video I've got coming up called Why There Will Never Be Another Golden Age of Call of Duty or Another Perfect Call of Duty. Like why that is impossible, why that isn't going to happen, and why people need to really kind of drop the delusion that we're going to get another Perfect Call of Duty at some point or another. Because it's not going to happen. But prior to me recording that, I was trying to get some games and some old Call of Duty footage and stuff just for the sake of having it for the video. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just running back and forth into cheaters and aimbotters and speed hacks and... All of that, and the point of this little small video is just going to be that these older Call of Duties really are fun and they're good throwbacks, but they're just not good. They're not it right now, man. Like, I want to have fun and play these games, but constantly running into people that are aimbotting and ending games just because whatever reason or just speed hacking the entire lobby. I don't, I don't, eh. it, it just takes the fun out of it, man. Like, some people actually enjoy those, like, speed hacks and stuff and those sniper-only lobbies. I just want to boot up an old Call of Duty and play some games, man. I hope when they do, if they do bring these games to Game Pass, they are able to eventually address this stuff. But, uh, for the time being, you know, I wanted to make old Call of Duty content on this channel. That was the main goal. I downloaded BL2. I already kind of knew what I was getting into with that game. There was going to be cheaters and stuff, because BL2 literally got the worst of the worst when it came to modding in any of the older Call of Duties. But I figured, well... You know, maybe once in a blue moon, it really won't hurt, you know, it'll be whatever, I could just back out of the lobby, but no. Like, if you look at the kill feed right here, look at this guy, he just dropped all four people. It was at this moment, I'm like, okay, something questionable is literally going on right now. But it's just a shame, man, like, we literally cannot, we literally, literally, literally just cannot play these games like we used to anymore, man. It's full of too many people that are cheating, too many people that just want to take the fun out of it. You know, I, I, maybe it's just because I'm not a piece of shit. I don't understand what is so enjoyable about cheating in an old video game. And look, there he goes again, and then he ends the game. Yep. He wipes the entire team, and then he ends the game. So cool, you know? Like, yeah, man, you got your four extra kills, you got the chance to end the game. I just don't get it. I, like, some people, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I want to come up with the words for it, but I just don't understand it. What about this is enjoyable? Why do people enjoy doing this? Like, I guess they just think it's fun. They just think it's fun to aim by and be able to insta-kill people and end games and just ruin fun for everybody else. Like, I wanted to record a couple games, the moment I got that lobby, I just backed out. Something's also really weird with the servers again, like I can't find lobbies properly and lobbies are just disconnecting constantly throughout the entire day, I don't really know what the problem was. But, I figured, okay, you know, BO2 is chalked or whatever, that's just kind of the thing with this game at this point, it's done for. There's really nothing to do with it in terms of playability, the hackers just ruin it. And at this point, I'm probably just not going to play it again until it comes to Game Pass or until they address they're going to hopefully make some changes to adjust these issues and problems like i don't think they will obviously but man it's just it's depressing it really is depressing man i i really hope that they are able to do something about it so people can go back and actually enjoy these old video games you know what i mean like that's why people love call of duty they love going back to just reminisce and you know call of duty is all about nostalgia now being able to go back to old games or look at old montages and stuff and uh, at this point, I'm just kind of rambling, but uh, yeah, I'm just disappointed, man. I, I, I hope something is done to address these issues. And I know it's also a big problem on Modern Warfare 3 as well. I'm pretty certain Modern Warfare 3 is the most modded Call of Duty after BL2. Just so many people, like, ruining people's classes and resetting ranks. And Jev couldn't even change his classes because of how hacked his account it got. It's just depressing it, it, it really is man i love playing old call of duties and uh just the the content on them has been a lot of fun to do you know the throwback stuff people have really loved it on this channel it's some of my most highly viewed content on this channel and for the record i don't care about these games purely for content's sake i generally do want to go back and be able to play these games from time to time in my downtime you know when i'm not recording a video when i'm not streaming or whatever I want to be able to go back and play these games and get some friends and do some custom lobbies even I, obviously i could do that regardless but, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just the fact that when all these games got playable again, everybody busted out their old Xbox 360s, their own modded 360s, and hooked it up and said, yeah, I'm gonna just do this again. And I just, I, I generally cannot picture what kind of person just finds enjoyment in that, you know? Like I said, maybe it's just because I'm not a piece of shit and I don't strive to do really messed up things that could take the fun away from other people in the game, you know? But it's just, it's sad, man. It, it's really sad. Yeah, so, I, I don't know, man. And then, like I said, MW2 shocked me. I actually didn't think there were cheaters in this game, but I ran into a guy using speed hacks uh, today, you know, and who knows what other kind of tricks and shenanigans that he was up to throughout the entire lobby. But these old games are pretty much unplayable. They're not fun. Like, 
they're, they're not fun to play. It's, the servers are being weird again. And uh, the, the, the fun, the charm that these games used to have is just gone. Not only from an age-old perspective, like the charm is just not there like it used to be. Maybe things would be different if they weren't so hacked to hell. But they just, they, they, they don't have that same energy anymore, man. I just don't have fun at all. They're, they're not fun. They're not fun to play. They have too many issues, too many hackers. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty certain old Call of Duties are just kind of dead at this point. Unless they actually do something to fix these issues. Like, I don't expect them to. Like, we might, we're, we're lucky we're just getting servers that work properly. You know what I mean? Like, and, and again, from today, it looks like... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that's not even a good like that's gonna be even working anymore. I don't know man. I'm disappointed. Please Microsoft Activision somebody whatever uh, I hope they fix it and that's why we also needed those plutoniums and those IW4X's and stuff to keep these scumbags these modders and hackers out of the games, you know, and I did want to just point out the fact that yes I said in a previous video I actually enjoy playing older Call of Duties on the original games on the OG consoles more than I did on the IW4X's but that was just for a variety of other reasons I like playing 6v6 and I want to play 12v12 just Nuketown 24-7 uh, shipment 24-7 everybody's just got sniper rolly lobbies like that that was just boring to me I didn't enjoy playing ground war 24 7 that, that wasn't enjoyable i did enjoy going back to these old games and playing them kind of how they're supposed to be played you know what i mean or how they were when they shipped uh i don't know man i'm disappointed hopefully they fix it and if they don't well i probably won't be making too many older call of duty videos i just don't want to stress myself out trying to make content when i'm running the cheaters it, it isn't fun it, it's just not fun i know there are a lot of youtubers van Oz, uh uh, I'm Marksman. They make all types of videos in these older games, you know, they just kind of have fun with the cheaters and stuff. But I don't know, man. I'm just so focused on growing. Like, those guys already have their success, so it literally does not matter at that point what they kind of make. And that's not a dig at them or anything. It, it literally just doesn't. Like, they've got their fan base, they've got their supporters. I'm still trying to grow, and I don't want to deal with this stuff while I'm trying to grow my YouTube page. At least this one, anyway. This is my second account. My other one does other stuff. But, yeah, man. All Call of Duties aren't fun anymore. Uh, you know, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. It's just unfortunate. I know they were always kind of like this prior to them fixing the servers, but um, doesn't make it any less disappointing, honestly. So, yeah, what can you do, man? But again, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like on your sub to the channel for more gaming content. And as always, this is Jay the Gamer. I'll see you later. Peace.